he may have suffered some mild form of brain damage. Uh, it's entirely possible. Let's first explore our ship. The Ebonog. Mission. What's going on? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's... It's, it's just gone. I mean, it's kind of still there, only it's rubble. It's dead. Everyone on it is dead. They're gone. But I'm sorry, though. You'll be alright. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Or bombs that, you right? from orbit. The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about well, me. Oh, you dealt with I'll that quick. Okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Ah, uh, thank you, Mission. Great. Canners. T3, sorry, we're going straight to T3. T3, my boy. Such a positive little guy. Can you construct a programming spike? I love that sound. No? Oh, okay. No? Okay. No? Okay, well... You know, T3 doesn't do a lot of talking. Mostly keeps to himself. The supplies. Emergency food supplies. Alright. Now I think all of these are empty. Just in case, I'm gonna check them anyway. This is probably so you can store all your stuff. You can just carry it all with you anyway in your inventory, so I don't quite see the point. In just 300 years, we see that it's covered in vegetation as nature takes over. Really? Is that what happens in Knights of the Ultra or uh, in uh, the Old Republic? Just ignore the the rampant rackle. They survived that? I mean, they literally had the entire city fall on their heads. And pl probably all those guys that came out of the undercity world. You know, that low village of homeless people. Those two. I mean, they're probably dead. That kind of makes me feel bad. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, what do you want? You know, I think about this world. From what we saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway. So I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Republic has thousands of these places. Ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. Do you have anything else you want to ask? What does that mean? <laughs> do you have do you have some drugs for me? Can can I need my fix? You have some drugs? You want to hear tales of my exploits, of the wars I've seen and fought, the enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my mm. people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Killing shit. The Mandalorians destroy worlds for honor? Is that why you work as a mercenary? Is that why the Mandalorians attack the Republic? Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy, then honor is gained. The glory at having right, so you just want to achieve something, is what right? Us. 
If there's nothing it's at yourself stake, against the challenge. Your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death. Against oblivion. So why don't you go sit on a mountain for a month with nothing except maybe an axe and survive there if you want to test yourself against the world so much? Why do you have to go around killing everything, everyone inside? <laughs> Jen! You haven't even told us a tale yet. How can you possibly say my tales are better without any, any, any evidence whatsoever? Uh... Even the dragon, you need to learn how to spell, my man. If the Ender Spire somehow survived exploding in orbit, crashing into the planet, and somehow is only in a few large pieces that are all together. Wait, you can find the Ender Spire and tor- So you mean it not only survived the crash, but then it survived the orbital bombardment that followed it. What? How does that work? We need to be building more ships out of whatever the hell that ship is made out of. You seek death? All life dies eventually. A true warrior is one who can beat it down whenever it raises its head. But times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline. And the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were aren't a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> of course. People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. I don't think it is necessarily so much that people fear your... the motives of your war that they did not understand. I think it is the fact that you killed so many people without good reason. Um, and then fear that you... Because they think that you had no good reason. Which some people would say that the reasons you just gave are not very good reasons. And they think that you might once more for very little to no good reason kill that many more people. I think that is the thing that they don't like. Or fear. However you like to put it. We don't have anything else to upgrade right now. Don't have any... Hang on, that's bullshit. Don't we have a ton of weapons? We have like cards, but yeah. But because they're not technically in our uh, in our possession right now, because of that whole go speak to the Jedi Control thing, we uh, we can't upgrade any other weapons. <laughs> Make me a grenade. Sure. He just, like, standing there, he just... Grenade. It's like, what? That seems like a useful skill. Use him up first. Very well. Let's do it. <laughs> but the scanners have any of them yeah, too, so. though. I'd like some cocaine. You have a few rounds. <laughs> stimulants make a warrior out of even the weakest human. Here's Absolutely. Here's a stamina boosting stimulant to help you get tougher. There anything else you need? Yes. More lines of hey, cocaine. Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough there as it is. You don't want to overload yourself on stims. Otherwise, you might destroy your adrenal system. A real warrior knows his own limits and doesn't overestimate himself. There anything else you need? Nope. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. Oh, don't worry. I'll remember it. Um. You want to hear a tale of my... This is where Jet... 
Right, we can't actually have anything. Okay. Alright, Jan, I'll take you up on that offer some other time. I heard that the Sith have destroyed Taurus. There's Taurus. Well, yeah, they literally bombed an entire planet into dust. It is relaxing to come outside and enjoy the fresh air once in a while. It relieves stress. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Readings, young you. I think this is one of the huts that gets added in the restored content mod for Coda 1. You are welcome in my humble abode. As are all others who deign to visit this poor outcast hut. You're a hut. Yes, very smart. The most perceptive I see. No many people can tell that at first glance. I like that. Cheeky shit. But no, this is not what you mean. Labor under the misconceptions and biases against my species. We have the unfortunate reputation, you see, of being criminals and murderers and worse. Merely a businessman who has been cast out from his home in this most cruel war. Really? Businessman, hey? Businessman. What more would you have of me? So do you sell anything? Who are you? Shumai. Who have been made poor and disadvantaged by this cruel, cruel war. What are you doing here? The world my business was based on, NECA, was subject to the most unexpected and unfortunate attacks by the Sith Army. The space lanes were clear one day, and then the next they were filled with interceptors. Close to traffic. I don't know my employ. Quite unwittingly, of course, certain transport pilots who knew ways to slip me past the blockade above that world. Of course. It is the only means by which I managed to escape knock up before the Sith Commander deemed it worthless and virus bombed all intelligent life from it? Of the sometimes troubling. Alright, so this guy is one of those fucking gangsters that just barely managed to get the fuck out of whatever planet he was on, neck apparently, before the Sith killed everything. I will be grateful for any. Co oh man, I will be coming back here and hope you have goods to sell, because you probably will eventually. Lure Akrapsulus. Nice name. You, sir, may take the moment and the time for even two questions. Go ahead. This is Dantooine. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders. Ah, my speciality. Oh, this quest line. I remember this one. Yeah, sure. Sentient? That sounds... Vaguely derogatory. Air attack merchantile. Let's go check it out. I'm sorry, human. I am unable to render assistance at this time. I'm sorry, human. I am un I'm sorry, human. I'm sorry, human. I'm sorry, human. I'm sorry, human. He is quite sorry, you know. Carol Carr. Owner of this outpost of Aerotech Droids Incorporated. 
A protocol droid, so not programmed to interact with customers, so you should direct. Uh, so should you desire assistance, I can aid you. Let me see what you have in stock. Uh, many upgrades and other wares for purchase. Repair kits. More repair kits. Droid light plating. Class 3. Or type 3. Never understood the difference between like light plating because you also get heavy plating, right? So what's the diff? Medium, heavy. So why don't you just get heavy plating type three every time? Originally used on starship hulls. Jura Steel is the best protection available for droids. This particular variant of the alloy is the standard for mass production heavy combat droids. Demolition, sonic sensors. Item cost one. Amount one. Why do I get the idea this is restored content stuff that wasn't entirely finished? Huts aren't bad people. The people, they pay the bad. The people they pay are bad people. The huts just talk and throw some credits. I see how it is. Jan, a little more xenophobic than normal. Stating he would indeed kill the huts. Uh, security, computer use. Shields, more shields. Oil slick. Oh wait, I think I've seen this before. Oil slick, simple yet effective. I want to try this, but it is so damn expensive that I'm not going to do that yet. Meeting some friend, I assume you're not a member of the Order. No, how did you guess? Proprietor of the General Store. Don't worry, I don't judge. Elbow room, that's what people want. Our settlers and tourists from the glad court just dying to come here. Not the blasted jerk of What do you have against- well, what does so everyone not have against Zerka Corp is the better question. My selection is somewhat limited. Oh, don't worry. You'll find the inventory is the highest quality. So if you have special items, you won't find anywhere else. I know what he's talking about. He's got some of these dumbest fucking weapons, like this. And that. And I think there's another one. I think it's one of these. Uh, I think either of these upgraded make for exceptionally powerful weapons. In fact, I think this blade is one of the most powerful non-lightsaber blades that you can have. 3 to 12, plus 3 ion versus droid. Crit threats, not too much to write home about. Attack modifier of plus 2. It's pretty good. Use this weapon to kill... Nelinik? A Zabrak who assassinated the Achani High Protector with battle droids. Cortosis protects the blades against lightsaber sparring while um, sparring damage while energy cells disrupt opponents' droids. I think this thing is the the screw over droids blade. Jurgen Kaltus assault rifle. Ow! Look at that. One to six versus. Plus three attack mod as well. I mean, the damage is not too much to write home about, but I'm sure once you upgrade this, it becomes a fucking beast. I think actually this one specifically is pretty good. And Kalta wants it to make big noise in the galaxy. If it was the screams of his enemies, all the better. Okay. This weapon was his favorite because it shared his adaptability. I think this one's pretty good upgraded. I'm not gonna purchase it because you know that's eight fucking thousand credits. But it'll be looking pretty in this shop for sure. Stealth field reinforcement. Stealth plus 8. If only I was planning to use stealth. Interfacing band. 
Now that looks pretty good. I mean, you not only get the resist, which is nice, but you also get computer use, demolitions, and security plus two. Breathe mask is like, eh. Immunity versus poison. Awareness plus two. Oh. You not only get the dexterity, but you get the computer use and the security. Expensive. But powerful. But mostly very expensive. Canyon energy shield. I think we have that, actually. Uh, energy shield. 5-5. Five, five, 200. Right, so this is just a regular ass energy shield. CNS strength enhancer. Saves all plus 2. Strength plus 2. I mean, I know this is not the late game vendor, but fuck, this guy has some fucking... Powerful shit. Psst. Computer use plus three. Demolition use plus three. Repair plus three. Security plus three. I want this. 3,000 credits, which means I'm not going to buy it yet, but... Holy hell. Immunity. Critical hits. Awareness plus one. Oh, you really get me with that belt right now. Alright, your basic bitch. Stims. And of course, the most important things. Pizarre cards. I mean, I'd buy a plus minus one, but I don't really like those all that much. I like the uh, plus minus five, two, three, slash two. That's it. Alright, so things I would like to have. Things on my wish list. Infiltrator gloves. I mean, strength plus two is good, but not for my build. This, on the other hand, amazing for my build. This is like, that's it, that's it, that's the thing, that's the thing. Now, of course, I would love to have some of these weapons, but we're never going to get them. Because 8,000. I think in a previous playthrough, I actually uh, bought them, sa or saved, bought them, upgraded them, checked out what they were, then reloaded the save. And as you would expect, these things are very powerful once upgraded. They don't look like much without the upgrades, but with the upgrades, they're fucking insane. You can get a quest from him. Save your credits for a belt you can get on... Cash... Cash... Who do I get the quest from exactly? These guys? Or the hut? Uh, I guess that was one of my rifles. Sure, Jen. Sure. Uh, you can be killed by fish with a mod in tar on Tarowen. <laughs> Judging from the fact that that started with a T, I think you mean Tatooine. Tarowen. Don't get that belt. Yeah, you're really adamant about not getting that belt, do you? Calrissian's utility belt. Yeah, man, dude, did you see it? Like, four skills got plus three. That's insane. <laughs> Nick was like, I dare you, bitch. Dragon likes to be forced choked. I mean, we're not going to kink shame on this channel. Guess he threw his belt in the maw and got back in time. I think the name of the planet was supposed to be Kashik. Yeah, probably. I'm just judging that purely from the case. Not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi. Do you mock the honor traditions of our order? Yes, I think you're a joke. I don't bad joke at it. No, that's okay. I believe you're mistaken. I am not indeed a Padawan. Padawan. I am Jiron. AKA Jeroen the Dutchman. I came with Bastila. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young, though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as yes. for you, we noticed. You claim you are not a Padawan. I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this well, is some I'm sure you can jest, feel its presence, but now it's not the time. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I didn't come here to be scolded, but no. I'm telling you the truth, girl. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. 
It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the force be with you. Should do a 24 hour stream of this sometime. But probably shouldn't. You know, if we do end up doing the 24 hour stream, it'll probably be either this game. Yeah, it's probably going to be this game. If we do Darkest Dungeon 24 hour streams, I will be dead. Just dead. Dantooine has a splendid environment. Ooh, splendid. I would see it damaged by too many settlers. Droid, get out. Door. He is just, he's just trolling, that's it. He's fucking trolling. That's okay, though. As long as it's with no lo no more spoilers. Ah, seasoned Pazak player. Well, yes, I do devil in the game from time to time. I do declare. Do you have any cards to sell, good sir? As a matter of fact, he does. Ooh. Ooh. Let's play. I got a good deck now, and I got the cards. I start with Pot of Greed. Now let's fucking beat his ass. Sometimes you gotta live life on the edge. The edge. Don't, don't do me like that game. Don't do me like that. Very good. I got the heart of the cards. And I got three plus ones. <laughs> I don't have the heart of the cards, but I believe in a plus three. Fuck this game. Don't worry, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna get rid of these f plus threes, plus two. What's that card which Yu Gi Oh is like used to destroy that thing? Dark Magician something. It's okay, you can have this one. The, Kore the Caribbean God card. Oh. 
I'm losing my faith in the heart of the cards right now. have a plus six have some minus ones oh i'll match your 20 he somehow is doing this without using any cards by the way likewise this round and now we're equal do it Game sucks. Uh. Robin Blind, my man back. Get out of the way. Give me your cash. Hump that protocol score. Carth, put some fucking clothes on. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. Yes, she it still is hasn't admitted. You are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Ja. A member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Oh. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Well, I'm quite gifted, you know. I mean, have you seen me play a hand of Pesach? I'm the best. No one can beat me. Heart of the cards. Bitch. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force. <laughs> Before we would even consider it, Nico, what? Training. Proof? Surely the entire council can feel the strength of the force within this man. Oh, and I've <laughs> well, that's uh, that took place let's uh, let's take it easy, uh, Bastila. We both know there is no luck, there is only the force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Oh, yeah, very, this power very has much to manifest itself. Can we safely? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Try me. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? 
What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. And nightmares. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Mm -hmm. Can its power truly be worth the risk? Mm -hmm. Revan, of course, not one for small talk. In fact, not one for any talk. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Alright, is she anything else? <laughs> I had a rough night. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? Yeah, you know, we, we had a rough night. It's, it's okay now. You got it. Uh... You and you. Karth is just whiny. We don't want him here. That's okay. We'll take Karth out, of course, some other time, but just not right now. Don't want to deal with all that stuff. White robes. Antoine is one of our last refuges. Hey. The Sith hunters everywhere. You have the same voice as that other guy. Antoine is one of our last refuges. And now you have the, the exact Sith same lines. Everywhere. Balea. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. Thank May you. the Force be with you. Very friendly. Now will you let me pass, please? I mean, you know, I'm kind of stuck in a sword here. Here, let me change that out to a glow rod. Which is like the bitch version of the lightsaber. Look at how he wields that thing. It even swoosh 